does the use of Pitocin during labor delivery increase the risk of postpartum depression? I'm Dr. Shannon Clark, and this is episode two of my All Things Pitocin series, and we're going to talk about Pitocin and postpartum depression. Now, the first article I want to talk about is this one right here from 2020, Oxytocin and Postpartum Depression, a Systematic Review. And these are the highlights. Oxytocin is hypothesized to have a role in postpartum depression. Synthetic oxytocin, which is Pitocin, is regularly administered to individuals during the labor uh, process and immediately postpartum to help control uh, postpartum hemorrhage after delivery of the placenta. Now, this study found 16 articles and they broke them up into two different categories. Those that are addressed the role of endogenous oxytocin and postpartum depression and the role of pitocin or synthetic oxytocin and postpartum depression. Now, 12 of these 16 studies found an inverse relationship between endogenous oxytocin levels and postpartum depression, meaning the higher the oxytocin levels were endogenously, which our body makes on its own, the, the lower the risk of postpartum depression or the lower the presence of postpartum depressive, depressive symptoms. Four studies looked at uh, intravenous pitocin, synthetic oxytocin, and postpartum depression. And they couldn't draw any conclusions from any of those studies because they were so uh, varied and just kind of different in their study protocols and what they were looking at. So now this is a study from 2023, Oxytocin in, in Women Postpartum Depression, a Systematic Review of ran- Randomized Controlled Trials. This article looked at all the studies on the use of oxytocin or pitocin for the treatment of postpartum depression. And that's because there are previous studies that have shown that giving a patient additional oxytocin through synthetic pitocin may help to improve symptoms of postpartum depression. Now, according to this study, the effect of oxytocin on postpartum depression is uncertain. And they also concluded this. We partly support that pitocin, synthetic oxytocin, might improve the cognition of patients with postpartum depression uh, to their infants, while the effect on emotion is still controversial. So to summarize, endogenous oxytocin, which is what our body makes, may have a role in postpartum depression. And some studies show that the higher the level of oxytocin is endogenously, the lower the symptoms or the risk, uh, as soon as a postpartum depression, and potentially the lower the risk of postpartum depression. There are no studies that show that intravenous pitocin, synthetic oxytocin, increases the risk of postpartum depression. So any account or any person telling you that it does is not telling the truth. In fact, there are some studies suggesting that giving patients synthetic oxytocin or pitocin may help with the symptoms of postpartum depression. What are your thoughts? Tell me in the comments.